Hobson's Choice, where, which the phrase Hobson's Choice comes from the play, from Brighouse's play, Harold Hobson is a bootmaker in Salford, Manchester, and he runs this boot shop. He's a widower, uh, and he has three daughters, Maggie, Alice and Vicky, who basically run this boot shop whilst he drinks at the local inn most of the day, and when he's not doing that, he's shouting, barking orders at his three daughters. What's already really exciting for me is that Nadia Fall, who's directing it, is taking it out of its original setting of 1916, which will immediately make the whole um, play sing to a different tune. The three leading characters, I guess, in, in Hobson's Choice are Harold Hobson, the father, Maggie Hobson, the daughter, and Willie Mossop, the, the, the young man that she marries. Um, Harold Hobson is being played by Mark Benton, who is a really accomplished um, stage actor who I've really wanted to work in this theatre for a long time, but might be known to a wider audience, here, certainly here in Britain, through his television work and his recent appearance on Strictly Come Dancing uh, in the last season. Perfect casting for that role. It was the first person that we all thought of. The first person that was asked didn't need to go any further. His daughter has been played by Jodie McNee, who is um, again an actress that I've wanted to work with for a long time. And a young man called Carl Davis is playing Willie Mossop and he feels a great foil for Jodie. Just even looking at their photographs and knowing who, who Nadia has cast makes me smile. If people come to see Hobson's Choice, they'll be guaranteed uh, lots of laughs. It is a very sentimental, funny, observed comedy, family, relationships of fathers and daughters of misogynistic fathers and rebellious daughters. And, uh, and that is, causes great humour, and particularly as we watch the, the rather bullish, arrogant, oafish father get his comeuppance from this dominated daughter. But they'll also get something very, they'll also witness a very tender, loving relationship, that curious relationship that grows unseemingly, but truthfully and realistically throughout the three acts of the play.